The MERS virus has hit the headlines again. Let us familiarize ourselves with MERS and learn how we can protect ourselves and our loved ones. MERS, or Middle East Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus, was first reported in 2012 in Saudi Arabia. MERS cases have been reported in 25 countries with the Middle East and Asia. According to the World Health Organization, 449 have died of the deadly virus. Most MERS cases develop like this. Scientists do not know how long the virus sticks around in the body before showing symptoms. A patient in the United Kingdom showed symptoms of infection within 10 days. The first symptoms are fever and upper respiratory tract infection, as well as a cough similar to flu or common cold. The respiratory symptoms then worsen as the patient becomes more feverish, coughing up mucus and having trouble breathing. The patient contracts pneumonia. His lungs gets infected and will require hospitalization. Even under the care of doctors, respiratory symptoms continue to worsen. Most patients eventually require mechanical ventilation or advanced respiratory support. About seven days after being hospitalized, the patient suffers kidney failure, along with other respiratory symptoms. The first patient to die of the MERS virus died 11 days after being admitted to the hospital. His death was deemed to be from progressive respiratory and renal failure. Here's how you can protect yourself. If you are traveling and you recognize signs and symptoms of influenza-like illness, delay your travel or stay at home if you're not feeling well. Wash your hands with soap under warm running water for at least 20 seconds and you will reduce your chance of getting sick. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth with your hands as germs can easily be spread this way. Use alcohol-based hand sanitizer if soap and water are not readily available. It's a good idea to keep some with you in your pocket or purse when you travel. If you are sick, cover your mouth and nose when you cough to reduce the spread of germs. If you use a tissue, remember to dispose of it as soon as possible. Wash your hands afterwards. There is no vaccine for the MERS. However, it is important to be up to date on all of your routine and recommended vaccination. Be aware that the risk may be higher for persons with chronic medical conditions like diabetes and heart disease and will require medical care abroad. If you feel one of these symptoms, proceed to your nearest hospital for a swab test. Specimen samples will be sent to the Ministry of Health.